Hi everyone, this is YML and welcome to the fourth part in the object detection series. In this video, we are going to take a look at a more special model, Mask RCNN, which is not a pure object detection model as the previous ones. And instead of predicting just a bounding box around the object of the interest, it also predicts a mask, so it should be better categorized as an instant segmentation model. However, mask RCNN is strongly connected to the faster RCNN model, so I thought it would be a nice addition to the series. Also, if you haven't already, please watch the previous videos in the series. I guarantee that if you do that, the information in this video will make much more sense. So, what's new in this model? Well, simply put, if you already understand the faster RCNN model, not too much. If you remember, in the faster RCNN model, we had a regional proposed network whose role was to find possible areas in the image with objects in them. And then, for each proposed region, you have two branches that predict whether there is an actual object in that region, together with more fine-grained boundary boxes compared to our initial guess. And all of this is done in a smarter way, using convolutional layers. And again, please take a look at the previous video in the series if you want to see exactly how. I won't go into details here. What the Mask RCNN model does is to introduce a third branch in this architecture, responsible for predicting the mask of each object in the proposed regions. There are two very similar variants for this branch, depending on the backbone convolutional network employed. For the ResNet backbone, the mask network architecture consists of a transport convolutional layer, followed by a 1 by 1 convolution with 80 channels one channel for each possible mask in MS Coco. And for the feature pyramidal network, it consists of a deconvolutional layer followed by four convolution with a 3 by 3 kernel, followed by a deconvolution, followed by a 1 by 1 convolution with 80 channels. Again, each channel depicting the possible mask in MS Coco. The interesting fact about this architecture is that the class of the object is decoupled from the mask. The class of the object being predicted by the class classifier branch in the faster RCNN architecture, while the mask of the object is predicted by the mask branch. This is quite different in comparison with the previous semantic segmentation architectures, where they employed the softmax activation function, and subsequently, the masks across classes competed with each other, creating inconsistent labels. Another important concept developed in Masker CNN is the region of interest align layer, which, simply put, is the more fine grained version of region of interest pooling. If you remember from the faster CNN video, the region of interest pooling divides the proposed regions into equal bins in the feature map and takes the maximum in each one, obtaining a fixed sized output. However, doing this has one major drawback. Namely, that you lose the exact position of your object within the image after all the pooling layers in the feature extractor model, which may not be a bad thing for object detection since the corners of the bounding boxes do not have to be that precise, but for the mass prediction, it is pretty bad since you would like to know the exact position of each pixel. To attain this more fine-tuned prediction for each pixel in the mask, the author introduced the region of interest align layer, where they do not quantize the proposed region coordinates, but instead use the floating point values in the feature map, resulting in a bounding box in the feature map that is better aligned with the original region in the input image. However, by doing this, it's not so straightforward how we can use the values inside the bounding box anymore, since each bin may only partially contain a cell in the feature map. So, what we do instead is to sample four points in each bin and compute the value of each point by using bilinear interpolation. If you are not familiar with this concept, what the bilinear interpolation does in a nutshell is to take the weighted average based on the distance from the sample point to the closer neighboring cells. If you want to get more into the mathematical operation of the region of interest align, I've added a link into the description to a great article that does just that. In the end, we either take the maximum of those four points or the average, resulting in a fixed sized output as in the region of interest pooling. I would like to dedicate the last part of this video to talk a little bit about one of the major drawbacks of the models presented so far, and that's the usage of a two-stage procedure to detect the objects, where 1. You have an algorithm to propose some regions which may contain objects, and 2. 
you employ a classifier to find the type of objects within each proposed region. This method is somehow ineffective both in terms of speed and accuracy since you have to perform two steps in order to detect an object. This is where the Nest architecture in the series comes into play. You only look once or YOLO in short, simplifying the overall pipeline and, as the name suggests, performing object detection in a single step instead of two. This was the video for today about the Mask RCNN model and what it does. Press the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you want to get notified about the following videos in the object detection series. See you next time. Bye bye.